What's up and welcome to another YouTube video. My name is Eddie and I am still addicted to Marvel Snap and it's time to look at another character and rank their variants from worst to best. This is another request from the comments right over here. Boop, there you go. They have requested that we look at Noel. So let's jump right into it, everybody. Noel is a six energy, zero power card. However, as an ongoing, he gets the power of all cards that get destroyed throughout the game. This is an insane card. I see him played. He is Galactus's best friend, Death's best friend, and fits in almost any destroy deck. I still don't have Null, but I am very excited to own this card. It seems like a really fun card. Let me know if you guys have him, whether or not you enjoy playing him. So, as always, we're going to scroll down here, click on... Oh, wow. All of the... Oh, my God. The variants here. The Whoa. <laughs> he has so many good ones. Um, So, obviously, because I don't own the card, I actually don't see many variants of his in my shop. So... A lot of those were surprises. He actually has a lot, too. He has uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 variants. That's a lot. We're going to look at every single one of them, and we're going to rank them from our least favorite to our favorite. As always, follow along in the video, watch all the variants, and then pick your favorite or rank them as you like to in the comments. Let me know which character we should do next, and subscribe for more variant talk. Make sure to go watch my previous video as well, where I looked at all the data mine variants that are coming out in the future. Now... Let's jump right into it. The first one is the pixel one. And I gotta say, guys, this is a really good pixel variant. This is so cool. Uh, man, like, the glowing red eyes helps a lot. The background gives a lot to the character here, him holding the sword. I Honestly, this is, like, the best pixel variant I think I've seen in this game in a very long time, based on all the characters we've looked at so far. I really can't complain. This is a really good one. And for 700 gold, I would be super hyped to get to this one. I think this is probably the only variant that I would say is worth the 700 gold in purchasing. And that I would actually be super excited if I were to pull this in a collector's version. I, I have nothing bad to say. This is a great, great variant right over here. Um, next up is Dan Hip. This is, this is so good too. I've talked a lot about this, about how Dan Hip's OG stuff were not as good as his new stuff. This is a good one. Now, I don't think... Yeah, this one is unknown, as you can see down here, which means it's not in the game yet. So this is one of the ones that's unreleased. Um, very good. Very, very good. Not a lot of room for a background, so I can't really comment on the background because Noel's taking up the whole picture here. Um, I do like him a lot. I think that Noel as a character is supposed to be very menacing, and this Den Hibs variants do take away a bit of the menacing aspect of cards in general. It's the same when you look at Apocalypse and Onslaught. Um, his character is just, his art style does take that away, but it's not necessarily a bad thing. I just think that it's obviously, if you're playing a card in hopes of uh, showing how badass they look, Dan Hips art style does take that a little bit away, but it's not necessarily a bad thing. It's just a preference. For me, I do prefer my cards to be menacing. So this one, I, I think I would say the pixel one is more menacing than that one. That's what I got to say about that one. Uh, next up here is Peach Momoko. We talked about Peach Momoko in the past as well with Mystique and other characters. So good. So good. And this one, I adore this one. Him standing on his throne here. Uh, God, Thank God it's hiding his crotch. That's very important. Uh, holding his sword over here. The color here, the, the black and white with the red sticking out. So good. I really, really like this variant. Um... I don't know much about the lore of Noel as a character, so unfortunately, I don't. Ha I can't really comment on whether or not this like throne or anything like that. If it's like a part of his lore that that he's like a king or something or an emperor or whatever. So if you guys know information on Noel, please comment down below and give me the information so I get to know a bit more about this character. But uh, again, just a fantastic variant right over here. Uh, oh my god, am I just gonna repeat myself for the next like nine, eight, like six cards, like? This is so good. Look at this, guys. This is insane. Now, let me just go back and check here. Okay, so the Peach Momoko one is 1,200 gold. The one we're looking at right now is unknown, which means it is not in the game yet. This is in Hyuk Lee. I really hope I said that properly. I apologize if not. So good. I mean, it's awesome. I just noticed here that, like, his chest plate looks kind of like, like the Batman logo. Um, I don't know if that's on purpose or not, but that's still pretty cool. His sword here is so cool with, like, the vines on top of it or anything like that. I, I really don't know anything about Noel, but I gotta admit, this card is really, like, I... Is there any negative I could think of? I mean, his background is just red. I guess that's the best I can say, but even the, the red background just makes him look even cooler. I, I really don't know. I really hope we have a bad one, in a way, just because so we can say something negative here. 
<clears throat> Sorry about that. I'm losing my voice. Next up, we got Scan. Uh, Scan over here. Are you joking? Like, is can we get a bad one? <laughs> this is insane. What are... The, okay, I don't know who these characters are back here, but they look like symbiotes. Um, and then he has, like, a logo on his background here. Oh, my God. He looks just so cool. I need Noel just so I can get all these... This is incredible. How... How does anyone... Are there, is there anyone that doesn't like these null variants? This is insane. Is this one in the game yet? Okay, so this is another unreleased one. Man, I I don't know how I'm going to rank these. All right, let's go to the next one. All right, all right. You know what? Super log here. I This is my least favorite so far. Again, it's not bad. It's really cool, but like, I got I to gotta start being picky, right? Like, I think this is the first one that I'll say, like, doesn't impress me as much. Talked about, like... The vine stuff like this, like with Carnage and Venom, I don't really adore that kind of stuff. So this one, it's I guess this is the Venomized one, right? Is that what they call this one? Is it, okay, so this one's also still not in the game. Um, I'm going to guess this is like a Venomized version of him just because of the tongue and the, the face over here. Um, making sure you guys can see it. Yeah, okay, perfect. Again, awesome card. Like, very awesome card. But again, just a plain dark black background. And him just like with the mouse on, oh, but he is pretty cool. <laughs> the the mouse. Oh. I I still think this is my least favorite one so far. We got three left to go through. Let's click on the next one over here. Another Peach Momoko. Okay, you know what? I think I like this one a little bit less than the previous ones too. Um, just because it's just focused on only his face. I do like Noel is such a menacing character, and I think the him having his sword out and whole body presenting like in a way uh makes it look a little bit cooler this one having just a focus on his face it's a good one again again it's like if the other ones were all 10 out of 10 this is a 9 out of 10 that's not like a negative i'm just saying i'm trying to get picky here the fact that we don't see his full body uh does take away a little bit of the coolness i guess i i don't know how else to explain it and again the background here is not much going on uh so i'd say this is probably my least favorite so far is this one this is another unreleased okay he has a lot of unreleased ones let's go to the next one. Oh my god okay this one i've seen a bunch incredible incredible his menacing face is there the power in his hands here you can see the sword in the other hand the electric here i've seen this one animated and i'm telling you guys kim jacinto kills it with this and the animation on this card is insane what a great card the background again is a little plain but there's a lot going like there's so much with the card that it works i love 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 this one this is a 1200 gold one and we got one last one to look at everybody this is another one from scan i do like this one. Oh, this is cool so him once again on his throne but it looks like the throne is different here because there's like characters with hands all over the place uh he's again holding on to his sword another insane cool one here um man this is gonna be a really tough one so we gotta go back here we've got like i said we got the pixel two from peach momoko we got two from scan we got one from him in in Hugh Lee, dan hip uh oh my god super log over here so we gotta rank these guys right we gotta rank them from our least favorite to our favorite so i feel like i have a general idea of where i want to rank some of them so I'm going to start just pull doing this. Um, I'm going to put that one there. Okay, so I, I think we're all we're almost good, everybody. Like, give me a second here. I got to rank. This is hard to rank. Um, oh, jeez. These, these are so good. I. Oh, man. Uh, I think I'll put this one there. That one here. We're going to put... This is tough. This is this is one of the hardest ones I've ever done, guys. Oh, these ones, these two are pretty similar, to be quite honest. I think I want to put that one there. And then we have... I think I want to put this one here. Yeah, okay, we got it, everybody. All right, here's my ranking. Now, generally speaking, when you look at these rankings, you might be thinking, like, how did you pick this one to be there? I'm just going with my gut right now. I think that uh, there's no wrong answer. I think this is the first one where I'd say... They're all bad. They're all incredible. I've seen characters that I would say have terrible variants. This is not the case. We got some really good ones over here. Almost every single one of these. Well, not almost. All, every single one of these are amazing and probably worth their value. Um, if one of these was ultimate, 
I would probably drop that down to being the least of the best, but there are no ultimate from what I can see here. So my number nine is the first Peach, or second, the second Peach Momoko one right over here. I talked about it earlier. It's just the fact that it's there's not enough going on in the card. You just see only his face and his hand. I, Again, it's really cool art style. I really like it, but I would say it's the weakest of the of the bunch. Number eight, I'm going to put Dan Hip only because of the menacing aspect like I talked about before. I feel like Noel is such a terrifying and epic character, and Dan Hip's art style doesn't work for me when it comes to that kind of character. But again, it's not a bad one. If I had this one, I'd be super hype, and I would add it to my Dan Hip collection. Number seven is the Venomized one. I feel like this card has just too much going on on the character but not much going on outside of the character when you look at the background and all that that so i'm gonna put this one over here but i honestly could change my mind on a dime on this and flip it because that's still pretty cool with the ven like the mouths all over the place and all the hands very cool card i'm just gonna put it there for now next up we got the pixel one pixel man this is a really good one I, and even with it being so good, it's still pretty low on the list because of how cool the rest of them are. But this is a fantastic card with uh, the character in focus. Background, honestly, for Pixel is really cool. I don't, again, I don't know the lore, so I don't actually know what's behind him. I don't know what that is, but it works that he has something back there. I do like it a lot, and the Pixel makes him look awesome. The glowing red eyes really adds a nice touch to this character. Next, we got this one here from Scan. Once again, I from here on, I think all of the... How many do I have left? One, two, three, four. The top five, I, I could flip each one of them. They're all just pretty equal at this point. Um, I'd say number five and four, you can see here, they're pretty much the same. They're both sitting in the throne holding the sword. It's the exact same, but just by two different art styles. Um, I put this one lower just because I do think that this one here, with the black and white and the glowing red, uh, just makes it stand makes the red stand out more than this one being a bit darker. The red here doesn't stand out as more as much, sorry. But they're both badass, right? Like you guys can see right there. It's so cool. But that's my number five and four. My number three is Kim Jacinto here. You know what? The only reason I put this at number three is not because I think it's not as good as I think I've gotten used to because I've seen this one, right? The others were all surprises. I've seen this one before, so I think my excitement for seeing this card is a little bit lower because that's like, oh yeah, I've seen Everyone uses everyone. Most people use this one, so it's just generally speaking, it's just always a part of uh, my Marvel Snap experience. So that's why it's my number three. Number two is this one over here, but in Hughley, I talked about this before, such a cool one, menacing with the sword, the uh, Batman logo, whatever that logo is on the background here. Um, amazing card. He looks epic. He looks awesome. However, like I said before, his background is just a little more bland. And my number one is this one right over here, which has everything I want from a character, making him look awesome, badass, with the weapon, a cool background with all the stuff going on. <clears throat> I, I can't say anything else, man. This is stellar stuff right over here. Good job to every single artist working on these variants because look at these. These are insane. So as always, make sure you're looking at them right over here. Which one is your favorite and least favorite? Or you could rank them number one to nine, your choice. Man, even the base card looks so good, right? Like, Noel is just insane. He's such a great card. I, I need to get this card and start playing around with him because he looks like a really fun card on top of the fact that he has good variants. So as always, if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more variant talk. Comment down below which character I should rank next. We've done a bunch so you guys can watch my previous videos. Or tell me which characters I miss out on. And we'll go back and uh, look at all their characters off of the website. By the way, the website is marvelsnap.fan. Or snap.fan is the name of the website. In case you guys were wondering. I know people have asked in the past. Alrighty. That's the end of the video. Have a good rest of your day, everybody. Take care. Bye-bye.